these are my best friends. We were normal kids. A couple of seconds ago, our phones went crazy. Whoa! You see that? Dude, it's a map. I want to go. Whatever it is, we'll find out. This is where the map says to go. There's something in there. Whoa, what is that? What? 20 questions with an alien. One beep is yes, two beeps are no. Are you from space? Do you eat humans? Oh. A group of kids outsmart interfering adults to help an adorable marooned alien get back home in Earth to Echo, now in theaters. If the plot seems to be orbiting close to Planet E.T., it is, but it has a solid cast of newcomers and enough charm to stand on its own. As for the kids, they realize they can actually have a hand in deciding their own fates, and they gamely go for it. In that spirit, Double Take shares a few other movies where the kids are the heroes, starting with E.T., the extraterrestrial. Directed by Steven Spielberg, it coined the phrase, E.T. phone home. E.T. phone home? E.T. phone home. And starred Henry Thomas, Robert McNaughton, and a five-year-old cutie pie named Drew Barrymore. The kids avoid adult interference to help a stranded alien get back to his home planet, the flying bike scene was thrilling, and who could forget that theme song? Richard Donner's The Goonies, which came out three years after E.T. in 1985, ranks among many movie lovers' top kid-centered films, and with good reason. Misfits from an Oregon town band together to save their homes and stumble on a treasure map in the process. They end up going on a great adventure as they look for the riches of pirate one-eyed Willie, led by my favorite Goonie, Mikey Walsh. Based on a Stephen King novel, Rob Reiner's Stand By Me is a coming-of-age story about four young friends facing difficult times at home. They decide to set off to find the body of a missing boy in hopes they can be local heroes. It stars Will Wheaton, River Phoenix, Corey Feldman, Jerry O'Connell, and Canada's own Kiefer Sutherland. A more recent film, Joe Cornish's Attack the Block, was one of my favorite movies of 2011. What is that, cuz? That's an alien, bruv. Believe it. When I landed in the wrong place, though, you get to the wrong place. <laughs> John Boyega leads a gang of mouthy, tough kids in a South London housing complex who defend their home turf from an alien invasion. It's funny and very clever, mixing social satire with youthful heroics. Well, that's it for Double Take for this week. For all you need to know about movies, check out the Toronto Star and thestar.com.